Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. ADA shows a little bit of upside today, um, but nothing really, nothing really convincing. Yeah, nothing that would be convincingly bullish. Yeah, very weak actually still, despite Bitcoin's rally earlier today and some altcoins were running as well. It's just that ADA is still very, very weak. I won't change my opinion here that this still looks somewhat bearish. Of course, we cannot rule out that this E-Wave yeah, is going to be reset higher. At the moment, we are at least watching. Yeah, it's too early to really confirm it, but we are watching if the E wave of the larger triangle, which is the last wave of the triangle uh, that started end of last year, if that's finished, uh, we're watching for that. We're watching for further clarification. The market so far hasn't given us that clarification yet, but we're close. But I indicated to you yesterday, you know, if it if it wants to um, play around a bit, it would do it from here. And then we saw a little bit of a rally invalidating a micro count, but that's nothing, nothing's changed really. So the overall idea is the triangle here, yeah, would be an A, B, C, D, E structure. Honestly, it could be a different wave count. It could be some kind of an ending diagonal that's playing out here because running triangles, which means that the B wave here makes a new price extreme. They are not that common in crypto. So the B wave basically made a new low. Um, again, they are not that common. So <clears throat> take this triangle also with a pinch of salt, but that doesn't mean it would be bullish. It would just mean there, there might be a more directly bearish scenario like an ending diagonal, but you wouldn't really notice the difference necessarily. The triangle here could basically be complete as well. A larger E wave, which is the last wave of the triangle is still possible into the region between 30 to 34 cents. So this last wave of the triangle, which started here, end of December, again, th that triangle um, basically is nearly finished or finished already and we could be in the E wave. And the E wave is a corrective structure. It can basically take all, all shapes. I mean, an E wave can be a WXY structure. It could be an ABC. It could be a triangle itself. And funny enough down here, basically with price action starting in, yeah, in August, we basically could say that we have a triangle complete or nearly complete here as well. So that was the thesis that this could in one of the wave counts take us down more directly in another wave count, which basically would all be part of the, the same scenario really. We could go up first and then come down. But at the moment, I haven't got enough confirmation or evidence to say that we have something more bullish going on. At the moment, another bear market still seems to be on the radar here and on the roadmap. So either directly from here, which would be more confirmed with a break below the 23.7 cent micro support level, structural support. It's actually quite a meaningful support level. Or if we go up higher, we have to be watching for, for potential resistance and the rejection in the region around 30 to 34 cents. These are basically the two scenarios, but I'm watching for downside from here until the price breaks above 27 cents, which is this swing high that was made in October. Obviously, we're taking a look at the microstructure here. Overall, nothing has changed for weeks, maybe even months. But some of you are interested in the microstructures and also we want to keep it somewhat interesting, which is difficult in this market. But you can see that this wave four basically moved too high. Hasn't been invalidated or has it now? It's anyway too high to be reliable. Yeah, it's been invalidated. So. Yeah, I would have to, I mean, it is possible that this was already the wave one, circle wave one, that this is currently a wave two, but again, this is just unreliable micro counting. And to be honest, the angle to the upside is quite steep and it's just chopping around in corrective structures. So at the moment I'm watching, okay, could this be circle wave two? Um, if it is, I think it could even stretch a little higher, but it should not, it should not break above the 26 cent level because this wave two would be part already of the next wave to the downside. And the E wave here is at 26 cents and a break above that E wave would invalidate the structure. So it would not rule out more downside, but it might just reset basically the D wave and we can take another run at E. So it would simply cause a recount of the microstructure, but would not change the overall scenario. If this is circle wave two, then a rejection should take place in the following region. Let's add resistance, basically here. 
between 25 cents and 25.5. Breaking above 25.5 will basically give us a warning that at least the E wave here will be reset. But yeah, still basically no decision, uh, still chopping around. We haven't seen any significant breakout. Again, breakout point to the downside that would confirm the immediate downside scenario is um, basically 23.7 cents. That's the scenario or that's the level that needs to break so that we're heading down as shown here. Um, if the, as long as that doesn't happen, we can chop around here sideways a little bit. If we see a break above 27 cents, this immediate triangle count will get unlikely and we are probably already on our way higher to form this higher E wave. But also that wouldn't be bullish. Um, at least it wouldn't be very evident. Yeah, And we are going to watch for rejection then in this region. That's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.